Should I make some music for you? Two sticks in there for like for pudding. Look at look at um no gel lotion here. Fancy. Best seat in the house. Do you put music <coughs> over your things or do you? Sometimes. With a sexy voice. Part of YouTube, don't you? Like an Instagram yeah, bit. Yeah. Once cooking's all done, we'll take that great off and just load it. Load it. Should be a lot of food. Thank you, Tracy. That was like one of them pans from like the, uh, the cowboy movie. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Got to save again tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's your rub. That is that rub. That's, that's rubbish. That's like my rub. It's about the rub. Yeah. That is like my rub. My tongue Go for it, mum. There's glasses. Oh, mate. I'll tell you something. If you start. <laughs> you do that, you do that, mate. <laughs> no, he's got four bog rolls and one mate's ground on each one. <laughs> the chilli, the, 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 the chilli rubs are most closely. Wet wipes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hand sanitizer. I have some. Yeah. I've borrowed Jeff's cup. I've a reasonable bar of sticking away at it. It's bar ones, yeah. Let's get one of them. Let's try it. If they don't want to spoil this weekend, so it wouldn't be a brilliant deal. I've used them, mate. Is it the far pit, is it? Yeah. Oh, no, we should have done it. Has it gone off? Have you done it with me? I, a sort of primitive bushcraft instructor. All that means is I lean to the more primitive side of the skills. Um, so as opposed to carrying like a stainless steel water bottle, well I do do it for comfort reasons pretty much. Um, I also like to be able to make stuff to, to kind of the the primitive equivalent to those sort of like, situations. So being able to make pots, being able to make stuff to cook in, um, keep stuff in, just as a primitive sort of means to the modern day equivalent. Um, I got into that because I grew up in Eust, which is near Hebrides. Some of you may have heard of it, some of you may have you know, visited it. Here. Um, <laughs> there's one, yes. Um, so it's a very remote place, and there really isn't anything. I mean, imagine the fens, but without trees and some water around it. Um, so that's kind of where I got into my, my primitive skills. And um, I started out me going out with you know, a little kit and then kind of. Usually I would put something down, lose it, and then have to learn what the primitive equivalent was, because I'd have to like improvise, you know, I'd have to break a rock in, in place of my knife or whatever it might be. 
So I ended up going down the primitive route and um, clay has just been a big part of that journey. Clay is a, is a stepping stone for us in terms of a technology, in terms of our ability to progress as a species, you know, it, it enabled us to, you know, cook and boil water and um, store important items, food for travelling around, all these different things. So as a, as a turning point in, in human evolution, if you like, in our use of tools, it was a, a really kind of big step for us. But it's a nice example of, and that's just a case of having something underneath that's, that's burnt up, so a bit of grass, a bit of stick. So as you're working it, always keep an eye, and it doesn't matter what stage you're at, just constantly be aware of what it is you're, you're handling, and you look out for those little bits and pieces. I'm going to have to get my other glasses. Yeah, by all means. Yeah. <laughs> it's like okay, so all I want you to do is just work it in your hand until you feel it's kind of got a nice, consistent texture, and all it should be kind of stiff because it's quite cold. Um, and what we're going to do is just peel off a little bit so you can make one big bead if you want uh, but for a bit of this size that's not that big. <laughs> that's a, a bit of this size we can we can break down and we can make a few beads out of this beads are very very simple and that's why we kind of start off with the foil so that's something like that that's a, a right pot. Pot. so you start off with one pinch pot which is a smaller one and there's only you know, you can only go for a pinch pot as long as you're coming. Nice, you can actually. I've thought about it, yeah. The wall, so. No, one I won't. I'll just die straight in. <laughs> 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 so it's just I don't mind. It's quite easy. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it takes a really long time, and you can see why people would be very kind of scared of firing something you've put hours into it. Yeah. And, and it was the handle as well. It's like, is that that's from that? Exactly. Yeah. Is it too weak? Yeah. The handles are, I mean, anywhere where you're attaching stuff onto play is always difficult. How's everyone getting on? We've got some bead looking pieces taking ship. Yeah. <laughs> the 
You have about 25p change, but we'll keep that for petrol. Oh, look at that. We have two baskets. Yeah, it's a bit, ready. a bit of a setup. So what I'm doing is now. Yeah. 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 So I've always been aware that there's heat here, but it's heating up this pot, so I don't want it to be too quick. So I'm just being careful of that. My spoon, I really want to do well, so I did just fade. Yeah, set that down here on its own. Same with this little oil lantern here. Yeah, okay, so we've got plenty of. Can I can I be really stupid? I know this goes against what they're trying to do. Yeah. But if you didn't want any marks on it, would it would it be possible to wrap it in tin foil or something? It would. Yeah. Yeah. So if you seal it up in say a container, like a metal box or tin foil or whatever. That will help, and you will end up with just a pure thing. Yeah, it's on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they'll be introduced to the pots around the edges, and then be left again, so maybe another 10, 15 minutes, just to slowly build them up. And then when that's done, what we'll do is we'll start taking some sticks, and we'll place those on the embers around. We'll get a fire, and when we get the fire, what we do then is push it back out a wee bit because the fire is too intense. It's too much of a jump from, say, embers close by to having a flame right next to it. So we'll push that ember base a wee bit out again. And then it's a case of bringing the fire in, and then we just build a fire up on top of that until we've got something like this sitting on top of our pots. And then when we, we'll see our pots going red, and that's when we know they're, they're good. Um, I don't take my pots out unless I've seen them going red. And then once they've finished, it's just the same same process but in reverse. So the embers will stay kind of around, we'll remove the fire, the embers will stay around, we'll take the embers out a wee bit, 
and then take them out completely and just let the pots cool down. Not in a good way. <laughs> something like it, something, something that's like a five thousand euro fine. Really? For two, for two of your car in Spain. But to be fair, the Italians they've got it rough. <coughs> Just now we can't really see it, but what's going on is it's all suiting up, it's going really black. There's a nice kind of colour change. So that's what's happening in there just now. Yeah, that's it. Why not take it all? Thank you. Why yeah. leave me 32p? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. You can open to my wallet, empty it all. You guys interested at all? Can I have a look? There's only three left. That's a uh, troll cast, a couple of milliners. Mm. You made these? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, bronze casting pit down the bottom there. Fascinating. Man. I think my favourite one's been taken. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> That's right. And then these you guys can have because these are just when I try when I learn to make them. That's cute. You you're the one person left with an AOL address. I am. Yeah, my whole family's still have AOL. The one person. Fantastic.